Hey guys, Brian and Aaron here from Five to Go, and uh, we've met some new friends here in Washington. This is Katrina hey. and John Paul. They have been full time for three whole months. Mm -hmm. They are very new to this. <laughs> but what's really cool about this and their rig is they have six kids in this Sabre Cobalt 38 DBQ. They range in age from six to 18, so they have six big kids. Yes. So we're gonna uh, go on a quick tour of this rig and see how they make all of this craziness work. Sounds great. <laughs> All right, heading inside. So here we see a Sabre 38 DBQ, and uh, it is quite warm here. So we'll close that door and keep the AC inside. All right, so we're gonna start with the living room and the kitchen. Yeah. What you got? Um, well, we love the cabinetry space mm -hmm. that we have in this RV. We had um, a class A for a very short time, and it did not afford us the living capacity that this does. Mm -hmm. Um, we love the, um, just the way that everything kind of moves, all the DVDs and things in there, all the cups and glasses accessible to everybody, everything very deep, lots of nice storage, got hooked up locally, got some shelving. You could even fit a KitchenAid mixer in there if you, you wanted to. You probably so could, the, yeah. the only thing I would say was that this is the hardest thing because we've knocked all the corners with the Instapots. Uh -huh. okay. And you can see, so to stop from doing that, we've moved them to a different cupboard. They have Notice their own she cupboard. said them. It's them. A multiple, <laughs> there are multiple Instapots. We'll get to that in a second. <laughs> yeah. um, it didn't originally come with the table here, but we have a lot of people, and so we moved the back couch into here, um, giving us a little more space. So now it's here with the bench. We really have appreciated just the layout of the kitchen because it takes an army of people to feed the army of people we are. <laughs> and so we can all have a working space. We can do a whole thing of dishes cleaning here. Um, definitely, we, we love our, you know, it expands our counter. So we just can wash as many dishes all the as dishes. We yeah. want. That's really awesome. Um, Where did that come from? This is from Fred Meyer. From and, Fred Meyer, okay. Yep, and it is, I was looking, and I don't even think it was meant for this. It was meant for something else, like, um... Is it like a boot? I think it's like a, something, yeah, but I was trying to come up with something where it would give me a lot of space and not leave my counter soaking wet all the yeah. time. And I love this, and, or if you could just want a short one, you can do it like that. That's so, so like, clever. Yeah. <laughs> that is so clever. Plug for Fred Meyer, they're yeah. awesome. <laughs> Um, so we love all of this space here, being able to like cookbooks, all of our spices. Mm -hmm. I'm going to um, show that. Show yeah, you, you do you this is my girlfriend. Should I say her name? You can. Chris you Pena, you are amazing. And so she gave me this idea. They lived in an RV for quite some time. And so she oh, so put good. all of her spices <laughs> in here. It smells yeah, it smells <laughs> aromatic. Really I'm sure like true cooks would have a panic attack because the Spice cup, they blend a little bit. Oh, but yeah. But you know what? For RV living, I can put like <laughs> over 50 spices up here, and it so makes me happy. So that's instead of all the teeny tiny little bottles that yep. would take up the whole pan. That is an, that's a life changer for us. We have, you know, like one utensils drawer, which is great to have all these things in there, um, cabinets. And then it also has the full drawer underneath, which is yeah, really yeah. fantastic for all the bigger stuff. Yeah. Um, the oven actually can fit a full size most things which is really nice. And so can the convection oven. Um, it's not exactly clean. <laughs> it gets used, but it's awesome. <laughs> we use it multiple times a day. Um, so you guys have the propane oven and the electric convection. Yes, so and this will do a microwave. You can toast stuff, you can bake stuff. It is like, oh, for yes. living, um, which has been phenomenal. The other part we really love is a full sink mm -hmm. that you that's can actually sense. fit a full pan in. Um, mm -hmm. The other thing that's been really phenomenal is all of our cleaning stuff can fit under there. Everything has plenty of space, garbage bags and all of that. Um, that's been really wonderful to kind of keep everything together in one space. Everyone knows mm -hmm. that everything's there. Um, the next, oh, we should hear the angels singing. <laughs> um, <laughs> because it's amazing. A full fridge. Yes. For anyone that's living full time in an RV, this is a game changer. Mm -hmm. uh, no matter what size RV you have, and then we have two full drawers of freezer space. Wow, which is amazing. You can do a full Costco run or a big, you know, Fred Meyer Target run, whatever, and you can fit everything oh, completely yeah. contained in there. <laughs> Are you guys ready for this closet now? This is the cool closet. <laughs> this is my special closet. Yeah, remember how we so, said them with Instant Pots? There's three of them. <laughs> yeah, so we have a rice cooker, two Instant Pots, and then stainless steel bowls. 
essential for big family RV living. Yeah. But I really don't show how big that storage is. This is Instapots really amazing. Okay, and I want to say this. Like, this is, and um, these are the, I think these are the whatever size they are. But anyways, you can get this out. Notice I did not bang a single corner. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, that's amazing. Well, I guess I did bang <laughs> it. But <laughs> if it you're fits. really careful, it fits. And Instapots tend to give a little bit of, like, they contain smell over, you know, they, they yep. smell, yep. it's all contained. It is, yeah. <laughs> yes. You don't smell it if it's not open. Mm -hmm. So, um, what else? Uh, we're going to continue around this way. Yep. Okay, so. Show, us, show these crazy blinds. These are called zebra blinds, and we had never seen them before. Uh, when we first saw them, they do kind of make you a little dizzy if you so look I, at them. I feel like I need to put one of those, like, seizure photo yes. Yes. Warranty, warning, warning. warning. <laughs> yeah, close your eyes. Don't see them closely, because <laughs> you might get seasick. So, they uh, move very well up and down. They work best if you go in the center to move them. Yep. Um, and then it's super cool because you can allow a little bit of upper light. You can allow a little bit of light down there. You can, oops, you go too fast, that happens, they tangle. Um, you can put them all the way up for extreme light. Mm -hmm. So they have just, I mean, I think they're amazing. They're easy to control mm -hmm. um, and they give the right amount of control over your light space. Yeah, mm -hmm. so the couches, one of yeah. these was here and one of these so was the in there. So the other one was in the bunkhouse. Okay, and they're both the same, they're right? They're identical. So it doesn't matter which is which. After, right? right, after we measured them, we realized, oh my gosh, these are the same couch. Mm -hmm. And they both flip out into full-size beds? They full both flip beds. out, they come out to almost the end of this. Mm -hmm. So if we have them open, we just go this way right. to right. travel around in the kitchen, which works beautifully. Mm -hmm. um, and then at night, you just don't go this way. Yep. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. so six, so you have Unless one, you're the two, little kids and they run across them. So you have four kids in the bunk room. Four kids in the bunk the room. Two bigger kids out here. We actually put the boys out here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the boys sense. come and so the boys, living room. So two boys, four girls. Four girls. Awesome. And it works really well to do it that way. Yep. So stick around for a little later in the video after we do the full run through. We'll show how everybody sleeps. How everybody got? Yeah. Yeah. How everybody fits because they do all fit. We actually have room for more people <laughs> <laughs> if we had to. Uh -oh. um, we have appreciated this little nook space. We have our oils. We opted for this because it saves on a drawer space, mm -hmm. and we're literally using it a hundred times a day. Oh, the Although, silverware specifically, yeah. Correct. All the yeah. little kids know where it is. We just got these the other day at Fred Meyer. Love Fred Meyer because we were tired of buying paper plates, mm -hmm. and these are great. You can't break them. They're durable. Clean they clean easily, and they're the right size for kind of that everyday use. Mm -hmm. um, and then, not tidy, mm -hmm. but... <laughs> You know, we got here three months ago. We're working on it. Yep. Um, but this has been really fantastic, and especially as we get closer to homeschool kicking off, um, this will be really nice to have. Everything accessible. You can have your pens, papers, books, markers, whatever you mm -hmm. need, um, and you're good to go. Yeah, that's a lot. So it's right here next to the table, so and it's, it's easy right to get to. right here next to the table, mm -hmm. and the kids can do the crafts. The little kids, they can put it back. These drawers, this is our electronics little <laughs> designated drawer. If you need a charger or whatever you need, it's probably in here. This has also the, the extra drawers for like towels and then we have aprons down in that one. And then this was my other life changer with the Instapot covered and the fridge. I would say this is the other one. It's Pretty crazy, substantial. crazy that you have that much pantry and, and all, all of that, that. and crazy. that big thing there. Mm -hmm. And surprise stuff outside. <laughs> yeah, there's Wait, a yeah, storage There's even more storage <laughs> there's right there. Even more. And then there's a ton so, of storage in the bunker. And, and tons of storage. Crazy. Like they, whoever designed this did a really phenomenal job. Because even if you were less people, you could put all the space to use. Mm -hmm. right? It's all at your fingertips. You don't have to go outside for mm -hmm. it. You don't have to go in the dark or so it's all in your little house and that's been amazing for us all right let's check out the bunkhouse okay so one of my favorite things in this is that if you know we need sacred time we just close this the girls do their thing the boys do their thing <laughs> right and then we open it back up and we can be back together as one full family yep. we do find that during the day it is nice to leave it open to keep the airflow going and at night too yeah. um because it does tend to make a difference on how much um how cool or hot everything is. Mm -hmm. So coming in here, um, this is where the couch originally was and we have awesome neighbors that actually gave us their old dinette. We're gonna build it out and put the bed raised. We have all the parts and pieces. They were sweet enough to give it to us. Who sleeps where in terms of ages and, and all that? Okay, so we gave our oldest girls the option of where they wanted to sleep because it felt like you know they deserve it. They're the the top of the charts. Yep. So they, <laughs> yeah, they opted for the top of the bunkhouse. 
Um, it's kind of their sacred space. No one is allowed up there. We really try to give them that time. Um, it has, it is tight, but they are flexible. <laughs> Let me see if I can, uh... So you can get up there and see. Yeah. And then there's storage down at that end. Mm -hmm. Yep, and there's like a storage nook. A little cubby you can kind of see there. Yeah, yeah. and um, that works really well for them. And then and our 13, 13 and eight, uh, 16. Okay. Yep, 13 and 16 sleep up there. Once they get up there, they do their little thing, and they're, they, I've asked them if they want to, no, mom, no, no, we like our space. <laughs> yeah. We are not moving. I'm like, okay, just yep. checking. So the little girls sleep, or the younger girls sleep here. Our eight-year-old is here because she has a little more awareness of not rolling off. Mm -hmm. So she's here and really likes it. We have a couple of times when we first got in, taken a pillow and just kind of wedged yeah. it along the edge. And we bottom. used a pool noodle. Oh, yeah. I may still do that. Mm -hmm. That's a really it's, great idea. It gives it just enough slope where, where they're they sleeping, kind of they have an awareness there. of yep. it. That's a great idea. I think I there are three not... in the spot there. So. <laughs> okay, totally consider that stolen. Uh -huh. <laughs> please, please. That's use really that. a great idea. So yeah, so she sleeps here. Um, we just got ticky tack, so they're just kind of starting to make it their own little space because mm -hmm. that's probably been one of the biggest requests with living in the RV is how do we make our space our space? The boys are more like you know, whatever. whatever. But the girls, they n naturally want to do that kind of nesting thing. And so they have their little thing. And then our six year olds on the bottom. Um, and currently we stacked these, but eventually what we'd like to do once we put the bigger one, roll the smaller underneath there, and then it will give, we could always pull it out if we have guests and they mm -hmm. can sleep. It's almost like a, it's like a little a wider than, yeah, like a trundle. Yeah. Exactly. So that's where that's they're perfect. At. So this cabinetry was life changing. If you are living in any type of a tiny house, RV, you know, something that is condensed living, um, all of these cabinets, I'm not going to say they're clean because we, once we had these, I told the kids, you are in charge of your space because it's behind the door. I don't care. Nope. Yep. <laughs> I don't have to see it. So I don't know what we'll get when we open these, but it totally works. These are more high, not as deep. Um, we ended up opting to put the ice maker here because I had seen that on some other um, video we watched and I didn't do it for a while and then it was like 112 here and we were buying two bags of ice a day and I'm like, this is dumb, we're buying an ice maker, yeah. I'm not going to keep paying for this. So we gave the two boys the least amount of covered space. There, It's shallower, um, mm -hmm. but it gives them plenty of space and you know, it's kind of, it, it definitely works for them. Um, these cabinets are awesome. We um, kind of have like swimsuits, socks, pajamas, smaller stuff, school books. We've opted the bathroom down here doesn't have a lot of towel space so we've been putting it there which is accessible mm -hmm. for everybody and works. And then clay creations and life and Legos and transformers in there. Um, then this is more like Legos and life things, nail salon stuff, whatever. These are the big girls. These are very deep. Like if I go like this oh, and I gosh. reach as far back as I can, I'm not touching the back wall. Wow. And I'm like, like I can't get it in further. So they're very deep, which is awesome. That's what um, Tara's would look like. Yes. Amazing. Yep. Love that. But it's, they know where their stuff is. It's in there. Right. And then these cabinets here, we just kind of have some sliders. So the, the older girls like their toiletry stuff. It allows them to keep their things sacred and no one's messing with it. Mm -hmm. And then eventually we'll mount um, a swing arm television for the kids. So if they want to do a kids movie here, a big adult movie in there or something, right. they have the capability to do that. Where do you put this during the day? During the day? No, I okay. move this during the day, typically right here once everybody is dressed and we're ready so for the day. More. Because now you have super good um, yeah, transportation. There's a ton of floor space. Yeah. It's a, it's a, and this is like wider than it should be. Like there's still a ton of space for people to move and flow yeah. and people to be going Spread places. Legos out. And oh yeah, Legos, <laughs> Transformers, yep. you name it, clay, it ends up getting mm -hmm. everywhere. So this again is on um, a slider, which we really like. The only thing, I wish they would have made it stop here because sometimes we've like almost oh, broken outlets yep. and I'm like, the <laughs> You're gonna guillotine a plug right out yeah. of yes. <laughs> No, seriously, so I'm like, why didn't they put this little piece right here? Yeah. It would have been perfect. But, we're trying to kind of figure, I may even put a stopper or something there. That's one of those things that you just, you only you know, know about it because you live it. in it. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. you make it your own. So this is the little bathroom and it is small, but it's very functional. And this is, you said this was your uh, little baby. Our tiny 
tiny baby <laughs> bathtub. My six-year-old loves to take baths in there because it's just the right size for her. They also said like you could do dogs or yeah. I've made multiple kids. They come in, they're gross, they're dusty. I'm like, go wash your feet in the back. So yes. they come here. you have a door there. So yes, you can so this into is it. phenomenal because so what we've opted for is locking the main door mm -hmm. and everybody coming in and out of here. Oh. Because the heat goes in here, yeah. we close this door, and the rest of the house stays much cooler. Yeah. So that has been a game changer as well, just like a foyer. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's also a toilet. <laughs> it's fine. It worked really good. I like it. It's, it's awesome. Um, we did, there's like, you know, things, as you said, you live in it, you make it your own. So we got this off Amazon just to make it so that we had somewhere to put toilet paper because there was nowhere. And, you know, bathroom spray, and then these cabinets are quite, ex you know, there's good storage in here. This one, not very much storage, just enough for basically, like, a couple rolls of toilet paper, and you're done. There's yeah. not a lot in there, but the rest is on the other side. Yeah. So and like you said, the girls have all their stuff in here, they so they have just all grab their that, stuff. go in the bathroom, yep. and bring it back. Yeah. yeah, and if you're only using it for vacationing, it's like... There's plenty oh. of space. Oh my lord, yeah. You gotta get a little more creative when you're living yes. <laughs> and really yes. tone down everything. But um, yeah, it's working really good. Yeah. Very cool. This yeah, this is a great room. I can't get over how much storage and, and people, people space sleeping, there is. Yeah. It is crazy. Well, and I think <clears> the height has something to do with it. Like, I'm almost six feet. I can't even, like, yeah. you've got another 16 inches. I don't know. Like, it's a distance to even get up there. So it makes it feel very light. Mm -hmm. And I also love, I know we have neighbors a couple of doors down, they ended up painting all their walls a white, mm -hmm. but ours came white, which yes. I love. It's makes very difference. light. It's very open. And then, so just a number of slides. We've got a slide here. And then in the living room, we've got opposing slides. And then in the bedroom, we have a bed slide. So there's four okay. slides total. Oh, trash. We like to show where trash is. Okay, so... So, that looks like a temporary solution. This is a temporary solution because the one I want is like $90. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to pay Is it one of those simple human ones? Or? It's just, it's the one that's a flat on the back and a half uh, moon this way. That would be perfect. I know! That's I'm not I telling you to spend $90 on the trash can. <laughs> well, I'm saying. determined to go to the west side and go to like a Ross or a TJ Maxx because I'm like, I know I can get it for less than $90. Because yes. yes. on the east side, it's like $90 something. Right. I'm like, I'm not spending that much money. I've seen them for Less. Yeah, this is one of our outdoor garbage cans. These yep. are great. They pop up, but honestly, it fits a 13 gallon bag. Yep. You can fill it. It's yep. fun, very it's functional. Easy. This is all of my um, fall like herbs and medicines and things that okay. I just brought in because I was going in a trailer, clean it out, and I'm like, it needs to go somewhere. I haven't found the space yep. for it, but, yes. but it's just holding the garbage can on the wire for the moment. <laughs> so it's working phenomenally. I'm in the shop. I'm sorry. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> You're also to... lives here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he does. As long as I have a bed, I'm good. And yeah. a river at night. Oh yeah. Where do you Where do you work? Um, I'm a consultant. No, um, I mean, uh, physically in this space. In this space? Yeah. He does my, not. I do not work in here. Oh, that's right. You guys are renting like office. I rent an here. office here. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. I have my own Which has office. been really, really awesome. Have that's... you thought about when you're actually start traveling? Because right now you're kind of stuck in this area because you're waiting on your house to sell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Once you start moving around, have you thought about workspace? Well, we talked about that. They're going to yeah. be more like six months and okay, four, yeah. or like nine months, three months. Kind of like, like snowbirds, like young snowbirds. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of we're setting ourselves up to do that. To do that. To be like, like gotcha. yeah, to be to be more like the snowbird thing. We want to get through football season. We want to be grounded enough where if the kids wanted to play a sport, they could for the season. Right. And then mm -hmm. we could leave and mm -hmm. not do that and be like out and be in sunshine somewhere else and then right. be able to come back to like kind of home base. Right. right. But be flexible with that way. And if you travel, and this is something for you all to think about too, because they've already thought about it, which is where we got the idea. <laughs> but if you're going somewhere where you're spending nine months somewhere and three months somewhere else, you can find office space to rent mm -hmm. to work out of. Like that mm -hmm. is some place you yeah, can always yeah. find somewhere. Yeah. They just happen to find a place at the campground. Right. Yeah. yeah, that was really awesome. amazing. <laughs> We're like, what's that? What are you guys doing with that office there? They're like, nothing. Mm -hmm. We'll move everything out of the way. We'll do it all. Don't worry about it. Just yeah, give we us the got space. that was part of. They yeah. were really gracious, and we got it basically completely prepped mm -hmm. for us to move in, and it's worked phenomenally. And it's yeah. given our son studio space, and he has office space, and so it's multiplied what we need but could be collapsed and moved if we need right. to yeah yes. we're not that committed but it's it, it allows us to do that we did speak about making my trailer 
Yeah, the, the to-go trailer. office. Yeah. Yeah. You have to always that. keep set up. Yeah, because yeah. with six kids, front. you have to have two vehicles. That's right. You have to yep. have a truck and a van. Yep. Yep. Yeah, so we, we can just use that, that. Like, as a mobile office, mm. quote-unquote. Yep. Quote, and then we build still that may in, do that. Put a little AC in there, yeah. use a yeah. generator. Yeah. Yeah. So and kinda, your van will, will tow the trailer? Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah. technically, it yes. will. So the yeah, yeah. It's, it's if it's not super that. loaded down, mm -hmm. my van is like the same as a Ford truck. Yeah, just mm -hmm. different outside. Cool. Something to think about if you were yeah. holding off on going full time because you couldn't find office space. Yeah. All right. So. Okay. So, so this is technically a two full bath rig. Yes. Because the one in the back does have a shower. Yep. Yeah. The cabinet space in here. Again, I know mm -hmm. I keep saying that, but dang, they did such a good job. So there this is, is over lots the, of. Uh, over the pantry. toilet. Yes, over the pantry. Yeah. Correct. Yep, they they created that space. And then we have these deep cupboards here and then an open cupboard here. We just keep all of our toilet paper in there. Mm -hmm. Makes it really accessible. And then the toilet is there. Yep, toilet's there. Then, sink, sink here. I do like this. I've thought about replacing the one in the back because it's so short and so tight yep. that you barely can get your hands under. Yep. And I want to get takes, one a little higher. It takes 10 minutes. Yes, yeah, so. It. It's You're the gonna, best fix. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to do that before long because I'm like, this is so dumb. And then yep. all my kids are like trying to wash their hands. Yeah, you're this like rubbing your hands on the inside On the, of the dirty sink, sink yeah. to get it. It's silly. And I would never have thought of that before yeah. I did this. Yep. But this one's phenomenal size. It's Even good, you can have yeah. a little plant. Mm -hmm. um, it has these cool, oh, sorry, that's not what I was trying to do. <laughs> it has these cool lights underneath here. Oh, so like at night time, you're not blinding yourself. Yes, yeah. which we do leave on at night and that has worked really well. The thing, I'm just gonna climb in here and show you. Oh, like, so you're my height, you're six how, feet tall, yeah. Yeah, look at how much room I have. Like I yeah. can shower my hair and my hands are not like bonking into yep. the thing. Yep. That is really awesome. And this being able to move around for the little kids yep. is great because they can do their hair, their body, what have you. And then having the bench seating is awesome. Mm -hmm. so, the, so there's the molded in shelves. Which I love. And a bench. Yep, and nice. a bench. And that's great, like if you're scrubbing your feet, you know, mm -hmm. for the little ones. So I just, we've really, appreciated that space greatly um this is the last cabinet in here there's no cabinetry on the bottom but the full space there pretty yeah. much to the back and it's been nice. really really functional storage is definitely the key word oh my gosh yeah and i don't think wow. i showed in here but <laughs> yep that's a big medicine cabinet it's a huge yeah. i think it's almost bigger than the one we had in our house in one of our bathrooms <laughs> like, yeah. it's really good size and it fits a lot of stuff which yep. has been awesome so, so we got to do a little bit of a shuffle to get past this door yeah, here that's right uh, controls are all right here there's another, so there is a window here there is a window here but this is the, the sun heat. side yep. yeah I, I just went ahead and did that in the fall i will definitely take the foil down yeah. and do that we'll just turn this off we won't die for over a few minutes so it'll we'll be uh, able to hear a ourselves little, a lot little, better yeah so you did uh set up a box okay. fan here because yeah. this gets nice and cool, so you're yes. trying to pull air out of here. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And it does truly help with the airflow in the house when it's real hot. Like today's not too yeah. bad, but on those super hot days, it's great. So this is the master. It is a king size bed, which we have greatly appreciated because the other one that we had had was a queen. Mm -hmm. We made it work, but the king is awesome. Really like the king. Moving on to the closet. This was the next thing. Oh, for all of you that can't live without your great clothing options. That's all of us, and we try to be simple, mm -hmm. but you have to have stuff, right? So yep. this um, hanging rack runs yes. the whole oh, length of the closet, geez. which is super nice. Mm -hmm. It does not have a support piece at the end like this, so I'm going to put one in before we load up that side because it could have a washer and dryer there, which we'll show you. Right. Um, we really love that all this carpeting is here because you can store stuff in here underneath and it's kind of got its own little nook and then there's even more space all the whole length of it for boxes or cap you know mm -hmm. stuff that you need to put in there so we really like that with a little light which is helpful yes i'm gonna move over here and then and we love the sliders mm -hmm. yeah. barn doors um this cabinet's great because you could if you wanted put a washer and dryer it already comes hooked up and ready to support that mm -hmm. we just haven't done it because it's not functional for us right now um and then you know sewing stuff whatever else you need to stick in there and it makes it really accessible so you can just get right to it um we made a library didn't you? we made a little library <laughs> we both are book addicts we don't mean to be and we keep saying we won't be and then we just continue to be <laughs> so we just have to accommodate our addiction so we like to put the little books there and then this has been great to have true dresser storage for mm -hmm. some of those things you need accessible all the time that just don't like 
hang well or fold well or whatever. Mm -hmm. yep. Shove those in here. Otherwise known as underwear and sock drawers. <laughs> that is what it's called. <laughs> and then this does have a TV backer, which we might mount at some point, but this was functional. We had this TV, it fit, it was on stands. We're not moving for a while. Mm -hmm. We'll throw the TV on the bed. And if we move, you know, yep. we'll do yep. that. So um, this is another thing that we really love. Like I said, we're a lot of people, we have a lot of shoes. So this was a huge thing and it goes all the way back. So mm -hmm. you could actually stick, if you have like jackets you don't wear that often or purses or mm -hmm. anything back there, that's been really phenomenal. So we really, we really appreciated the way they designed all this. I know that you are all going to have this question. So before, you can still ask it in the bottom, but this is the answer to it. This is where everybody sleeps. So the boys are in here. They have their own space. And, and that one, that one poses. Yep. He's, he's, he's interesting. For us. <laughs> we'll get all the girls in here. And then we have the younger girls here and then the older girls up top. Where they go. Standing by their perspective bunk. There you go. <laughs> awesome. All right, let's head outside and see what's going on out there. All righty. Cool. Yay! This will be that bed that I was talking about, our gracious oh, neighbor. I was wondering what that was. Yeah, yeah okay. they gave it to us, so we just have to accommodate it a little bit differently, and mm -hmm. then it'll give us a lifted bed space that's more permanent. And it'll be, I think it'll be really nice yeah. once we get it done. And then even more storage. Like and then even more, more storage. <laughs> Can't have too much storage, is for sure. So this space multiple things I like about it. It has the GFI outlet, so a lot of times I'll just take an extension cord because it's shadier here in the uh, late afternoon, mm -hmm. put a table out, I can cook and clean and do everything I want out here, oh, yeah. and just run the extension cord out, and yep. it's awesome. I can do my Instapots and everything there. Um, and it does have, if you want to like close your door and make it pretty, oh, yeah, you, you can, can run through. your cords, do a pass through with the cords. Awesome. Um, and then this, if you can see the lighting it's in there, huge. it go, it's humongous. So that's like all of our, you know, bug spray and tools and your garage vinegar stuff. and bleach and yeah, like yeah. the things you would have in your garage or maybe your laundry room, mm -hmm. the things that you need and yep. your pokers for marshmallows and yeah. what, you know, all the stuff you don't want in the house. Yeah, all the stuff you yeah. don't want in the house, but you, but you gotta you have your bird your seed, bag. whatever it is. So that was, um, we really appreciate this space. So this is the compartment where the batteries are stored. We also have gym equipment, um, yoga mats, basketballs, et cetera, spare tire, and some of the leveling components, our docking lights if we want them on. I never, we never use them. But they're here. <laughs> One more bell and whistle they added. This is the other pass-through side. So you have fishing poles and I've got one of those utility carts and extra paper towels. So and big. I mean, it's so incredibly massive. Mm -hmm. Like it's just phenomenal and has been a complete life changer. And the, the big girls do have windows. If you they didn't do. see them in the thing, they yep. do have windows on their bunk. Yep. They so. each have a little window, which was really nice because it makes you feel like you're not in a cave. Yeah. <laughs> so that does, they all, and they'll say like, oh mom, I can see the little birds on my window. Or, you know, it's like, yeah. it makes it feel more homey. So this is the outdoor kitchen. Again, it's a little cumbersome washing your hands because yes. like if I'm going to wash my hands, I have to push them against the sink to get them <laughs> under there, right? Like, eh, maybe not ideal, but it works. My kids can wash their hands. They have little hands and, you know, make it work. Um, this is a great like the counter space out here. You can, I have a big cutting board. You can cut stuff out here, you know, kind of literally use it like a little kitchen. And then these cabinets have been awesome because this is my overflow pantry. So I don't have to have, like if I buy a pack of tuna from Costco, mm -hmm. I put one inside the rest out here, right. that kind of a thing, which has been really awesome to be able to not have to buy these teeny tiny containers of everything because yes. we can store it now. So this is the outdoor fridge and even just this fridge alone, it's a ton of items that you can put in here. Mm -hmm. Not even being used completely, right? <laughs> then you still have a plenty of room. Um, it does come with lighting, so at night, if you want to, you can't really see it, but turn it on. You could use it in the evening or and early in the morning or whatever you want. So, and then we're back to the front door. There we are. Yeah, we did it. It's cool. I like it. It's a good, great storage rig for lots of people. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. And a good hosting rig, too, because we've had a couple of friends over, neighbors from the mm -hmm. west side. We probably had seven adults inside, kids running around, and you didn't feel like you were like, like all up on yeah. top of each other. <laughs> yeah. You could 
talk, everyone was laughing, you know, like, it was a very functional as far as that goes, which was big to me, because I'm like, I cannot live in an RV and not have company. Over, I yep. will die. <laughs> I just cannot function that way, and I, I like that you could use it for that. Yes. It makes a huge difference. Thank you guys so much for watching this tour of this beautiful rig that this um, amazing family makes their home in. And if you have questions, leave them down in the comments below. And um, again, this is Katrina and John Paul, and their soon to come channel, you'll have to look for it, is called Glitter in the Beans. And you'll have to check out their site to figure out why they've <laughs> called themselves Glitter in the Beans. It is the best story. You will love it. So don't forget to you know, comment down below about what you liked about the rig, what you maybe didn't like about the rig, or questions you might have. Don't forget to subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next video. Awesome. Bye. Thank you so much.